a donut from Dutch Girl Donuts, Patty Lynch. Yeah. How are you, bud? Good morning. I'm great, guys. How are you? We are wonderful. So walk everybody through this, first of all. Dutch Girl was 1947 when it started, right? That's right. 1947. It was original, originally Dixie Cream Donut, and then the Timmer family, within a few years, uh, created Dutch Girl Donuts. And, um, you know, they've been on Woodward, you know, for over 75 years. So when it closed, it was last year. When did you, when did you first, I'm trying to remember the timeline when we first talked to you, Patty. It was, it's been over a year oh now, God. hasn't it's, it? It's, yeah, it's blurry for me too. It's been, uh, it, I think it's been under a year since we spoke. Right. I started corresponding with the family over a year ago and then it took a little while to get everything figured out. And then I think it was like in the fall that we made it public, um, you know, that, that I was going to buy it. So, so then we had the soft open. You kind of, did you did tell everybody how many people showed up for the soft open at Dutch girl last week? Oh weekend? my gosh. I don't know. I mean, we lost count. We think we gave away like over 3000 donuts. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, it was, people were lined up out the door. We did it. We did it really softly on Friday. And then, uh, Friday evening, we said, we'll do it again tomorrow. And so Saturday was even crazier. But people were just so happy. I mean, as you can imagine, there was just, and the Timmer family, Johanna, John's sister was there. John was making donuts. Um, some other family members were there. They were very emotional to see it up and running again. Uh, you know, I mean, Dutch Girl Donuts brings a lot of people a lot of joy. So it's a good thing. Did I hear John's going to be working with you guys too? Yeah, so one of the big things for me um, in talking to the family early on was, you know, keeping John around, not only for the institutional knowledge, but just the continuity and the legacy of it all. And uh, it worked out really beautifully. And then there's a couple longtime donut makers, Letitia and Joe, who are back. They worked with the Timber family for years, so they're back. They're super excited. Most of the people that have worked there for a long time sort of consider it a second home. And so, you know, everybody's in good spirits. How, when was the moment, we're talking with Patty Lynch, Dutch Girl Donuts, the new owner of Dutch Girl Donuts, and we'll get to the timeline of when it officially opens in a minute, but was there a moment when you stood there and said, this is really going to happen? We're really going to do this? (laughs) Yeah, you know, it's funny because, you know, it's no secret, the place got broken into a couple times. Some of the equipment was pretty trashed. And, you know, I, you know, after taking ownership, I wanted to take the opportunity because it's like, when are you going to have the opportunity to do it again? We, we painted the place, all new lighting, you know, we polished the terrazzo floors, got in a bunch of new equipment. And so we kind of took a couple months longer than I would have initially wanted to get the place up and running. And then finally it was like, all right, it's time to make donuts. And, um, I just quietly kind of internally told them, all right, you guys, this weekend, meaning last weekend, I want to put some donuts out. We're not even going to charge people. We're just going to get donuts made. I know we're not going to have the full, you know, variety, um, but let's just do this. And, you know, when that, when that happened, when I, when I was standing outside on Woodward and people were lining up, it was sort of like, you know, damn, this is sort of surreal, you know, and I grew up going there. Uh, my dad was a Dutch girl patron long before I was born. Um, and so it was, it was definitely a little bit of like a, an out of body experience. I think that's like what I I always call movie moments. You have those, those points in your life that are movie moments, like the birth of a kid or when you get married or something. But for you, you just painted that movie moment. You're standing there on Woodward looking, there's a line of people and you're like, we did it. We actually did it. Yeah. That's I'm going to put my marriage and birth of my children slightly ahead of the donut. Well played, well played, <laughs> Patty. Yeah, no, no, well yeah, played, well played. Okay. So what is the timeline for Dutch Girl Donuts to be officially open? Where are we at with the process? So I don't know if you guys um, have a direct connection to the Lord, but say some prayers. Our final inspection is today. I, I think it'll go very well. We're in great shape. And then the hope is that Saturday, 8 a.m., the doors will be open uh, officially and for good. And, um, we're going to, you know, we'll announce that on social media in the next day or two, but Saturday is the plan. And, uh, you know, we're tweaking it a little bit. 
Cecilia Timmer, Dutch girl herself, was a devout church-going woman, a, an organist, and they were always closed on Sundays, um, but open Mondays. We're going to switch that. We're going to be open on Sundays because we just know that there's a lot of people um, around the city that would enjoy a Dutch girl on Sunday. So we'll be closed Mondays, but open Sundays. So six days a week. Um, we're not going to be 24 hours a day yet, but I'm really hoping by like the holiday, like, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas that our production is, is, is high enough that we can be open 24 hours a day again, man. You're crushing it, dude. Patty, everybody is so happy. And obviously the line of people that were there for, for the soft opening, what you did, um, Thank you. On behalf of a lot of people here in the Motor City, Dutch Girl Donuts, it's hard to explain to somebody who maybe is not from here and they go, oh, it's a donut place. It's not. It's <laughs> it, it, it's, it, it's a connection to generations of people here in the Motor City cruising up and down Woodward. It's where you went to get donuts. Yeah, it's institutional, and it does bring back a lot of memories and nostalgia for people. I mean, as a funeral director, I'm a sentimental guy, and uh, for me to see it up and running again, you know, is is a source of joy personally, but then to see how it impacts all these other Detroiters. It's, it's, a, it's a great thing to celebrate. I'm super grateful to the Timmers and to the whole city for the support. By the way, I did figure out what your master plan is. I know what you're doing now. You're going you're gonna to get us into Dutch Girl Donuts, and then we need to drop a couple pounds, and we go to the steam room, and then we feel good, and then we go get a couple more donuts. I see this is Circle of Life stuff here, what you're doing, Patty. Yeah, there, there will be donuts at the Schmitz. The guys, it's funny, even before the soft openings, I brought a couple dozen to the to the Schwitz on Wednesday nights because I'm there every Wednesday with the guys and they just devoured them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was pretty funny, but yeah, it'll it'll be good. We're working on some some wholesale accounts and you know the Pacheris brothers, uh, the longtime co- coffee roasters in Highland Park have made a beautiful Dutch girl coffee blend. Yeah, when do we when do we see that? Do, is the, that is that going to be there as well, or what, what's the timeline on that? Yeah. No, no, that's there, and you can buy you can buy bags of it to go. Um, it's great coffee, classic donut shop blend. And then I'm in conversation right now. We're hoping to have a Dutch girl ice cream by Ray's ice cream this summer. Wow, um, nice. Which will be yeah. And yeah. Ryan, Ryan, and I both volunteered. If you need someone to dress up as a Dutch girl and be out in front of the store one day a week, <laughs> we could do that too. Perfect for you guys. Well, I've already got the outfit at home, so I figure what the hell right. I might as well put it to use, right? <laughs> Patty, have a great day, man. Congratulations on everything. You too. Patty okay, Lynch, we'll talk to you guys. the owner of Dutch Girl Donuts back, 1947. That's wild, man. The, the line, if you see it on Instagram, there, it goes, you can't see the end of it. Right. 3,000 donuts. Ah, that's crazy. That's like 20 minutes here if you put them in the break room. <laughs>